I'm Peter Scardino. I'm the chairman of the Department of Surgery at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York. Today is a very challenging time in the treatment of prostate cancer. We're being told by many government bodies and regulatory agencies that we shouldn't even screen men for prostate cancer. Yet we've seen the mortality rate from prostate cancer fall steadily over the last two decades with PSA screening. In my opinion, the response to the challenge we're facing in accurate detection of prostate cancer is not to abandon PSA testing altogether, but to learn how to test smarter. And I think the 4K score is a great tool for helping us do that. So the standard approach to a patient with an elevated PSA is to confirm that it's elevated by repeating it four to six weeks later. Diagnosing cancer is always a matter of, of balancing risk and benefits. The only way to find every single high-grade cancer would be to biopsy every patient regardless of their PSA or regardless of their 4K score. That's not a reasonable procedure. Many men would get biopsied unnecessarily and suffer the risk of infection and bleeding that can happen with biopsies. The 4K score is a further refinement in PSA testing. Initially, we had PSA, then we learned to use free PSA as a way of refining and interpreting PSA more accurately. Now with the addition of intact PSA and HK2, we have a panel of four caliper markers which can be used to predict the likelihood that a patient has a high-grade cancer, a potentially lethal cancer. This means that we can avoid unnecessary biopsies in as many as half of the men who have an elevated PSA and still miss very few high-grade cancers. Well, I think the 4K score is a very helpful tool that allows us to make PSA more accurate by making it more specific. What that means is fewer false positives. The trouble we have with PSA is that it's elevated for many reasons other than cancer. The 4K score offers us a way to make it more precise so that it's, it's abnormal in patients with cancer, particularly high-grade cancer, and much more specific than PSA. That is, fewer false positives, fewer unnecessary biopsies. I think it's important to have a simple blood test that can measure four calibers instead of just one, the PSA, and give a more accurate indication of whether the patient needs a biopsy, and not only whether there's a cancer, but whether there's a high-grade, clinically significant cancer that really needs to be treated because it poses some threat to the life and health of the patient.